I'm working on getting the screws into this piece of beeswax uh, and then I'm going to sink the screws into the book to anchor it and I thought I'd show you how I'm doing that. Uh, I grabbed a candle from my dining room and I'm just heating up the head of the screw and then sinking it into the wax. And hanging on to it until it sets a little bit. And now, once this sets up, I learned from sinking this one that I shouldn't move this because the wax is still wet and if I tilt it, it will run off. So um, I'm just gonna let this dry or let this set up, and then I'm going to um, punch holes in the book which this is how the book looks today. Uh, everything on this side is anchored and everything in the center is anchored. This is all still loose because I'm still working on it. So uh, the beeswax is going to go right here, and I'm just going to, um, I think this is set up, I'm just going to flip this over and position it, and then press a little bit so that the screws leave a mark, and then use my awl to punch holes in and push the screws into the book. And here's the book with the beeswax attached. Um, didn't manage to slide too much glue under there, um, and it's sitting up away from the book just a tiny bit, so I might slip an extra piece of paper under there. Um, but so far it's uh, holding in place, it's not falling off, it's pretty steady. That's what I was looking for. So, um, the other thing I wanted to talk about today was sigils. Um, I did a bunch of sigils, uh, in pencil all over this book yesterday. Um, some of them are pretty simple. This one is, uh, one of the symbols for light. So it's all over the place. Um, this one is a symbol for house. This one is a sort of a bee protection sigil. And this one is one that I just made up on my own. And I'm going to show you how. So the thing I wanted to say was for queen bees, which I think is going to be the name of this book. Um, so the first thing you do is get rid of all of the vowels. Then you get rid of any duplicate letters, and there aren't any. And then from there, I have F, R, Q, N, B, S. And I decided to um, slim that down a little bit. So Q was my main letter, F, B, little arrow right there, and S. And that's my sigil for four queen bees. Eh, a couple little dots, because I like dots. That's it. So that's how you create your own sigil, a little um, protection or a little symbol that means uh, that has a special meaning to uh, whatever you're doing. And I doodled a bunch of them. Um, I did one for Bless the Bees. I didn't like it. Um, Healthy Hive is one that I put across here. And again, I just did 
healthy hive. Cross out all the vowels. And what I ended up with across here was H T Y H another little arrow because I like arrows. So that's my little sigil for um, a healthy hive, a healthy beehive. So all of these little doodles have meaning. I need to put something right here, probably another symbol for light. And I need another something across here, which I don't know yet. And then I doodled a little tiny bee before I glued the stick in place. So um, this book has a lot of like personal stuff in it. If you uh, thumb through this, here is some of the uh, doodling I did when I was trying to come up with the sigils for the book. So they're actually in here with what they mean. So hive. Hive is a good one. If you just do hive, you end up with H and V. So that's that could be the sigil for hive. Or it could be something different. Different um, artists would uh, create different things. Um, like it could be that instead. Um, different artists will create, uh, combine the letters to create different symbols. Um, so the, the whole symbolism aspect of this has been really interesting to me. I've never done sigils before. Um, and I really enjoyed learning this. One of the things I often do with uh, these sorts of books is write little notes that are never meant to be read again. But uh, this note was, today I learned about sigils. Say I want to make a sigil about four queen bees, and I did the whole lesson that I just filmed for you, plus that sigil. And then I folded it up, and it's going to get tucked in right here. So that's something that I know about and that you know about because you're watching this video, but that will never be seen again because it's tucked into the piece.